Why is national the National Day of Prayer so important? Does it speak to a larger part of what America is and on what it was built? Yeah, this the the, the uh, most people in America, frankly, don't know our history very well, and, and they don't realize that uh, that America was really founded on this on this moral structure. Uh, John Adams said our Constitution was was made for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the governance of any other. And the reason is that we we have radical freedom in this country. We we have this uh, this credo that we that God has given us rights that we're created by God and and God gives us our rights and the government doesn't give them. That God gives them that they're inalienable and and the government can't touch them. And that that radical freedom. Uh, it has to somehow be channeled in a positive direction because obviously, as we all know, <laughs> radical freedom can turn into radical, uh, you know, horrible radical things. And and without some sort of uh, moral structure that 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 forms the individual in a way to responsibly use the freedom and to use it consistent with what God's plan for us is, then you're going to have decadence, decay. You're going to have what we see on college campuses today. And so. Uh, it, it really is important to understand that the role of faith. Can people be good without faith? Yes, but show me a society in the history of the world that has. They don't exist. You need something for the the, the broad swath of people to provide a moral code upon which to live by. And that's what faith pr has provided every civilization for, for millennia. And, and in America, and certainly in Europe, we're starting to see a lot of, you know, this idea that, you know, faith is 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 bad, God's a scold, you know, these rules are just there to oppress you, where the reality is, you know, God made us, he made these rules so we could find him, that we could find happiness, that we can find a good life. And, and I think the more younger people who have been taught the other, who've been taught that God is a scold and is a bad guy who's just trying to, who's a right wing tool, he's not real, and he's just these right wingers are trying to oppress you. Uh, I think a lot of young people are rejecting that because they, they they realize that it leads to depression, it leads to drug abuse, it leads it leads to a pretty miserable life. And and so uh, we're seeing this resurgent not just here in America but uh, in other places around the world who uh, who are re who are reacting to what the left has been selling them. Senator, <clears throat> the, the government, you, you think there has been a push to erode young people getting involved with their face purely for the fact, as you pointed out, they come from God. That's the way it was established. In more modern day, your, your inalienable rights come from the government here, and that would kind of be a, a leftist shift, so to speak. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, if you look at Marxism, Marxism is is godless. I mean, one of the whole points of Marxism is destroy the church and destroy faith, destroy the family, destroy the structures the institutions of a, of a good and decent society and replace it with government. So the, the individual is left by himself and is really dependent upon government. And the government is really the God. Government is really the one that holds the power, that has, that grants the rights, that uh, that you trust men and women, but you trust men to to protect your rights instead of having these rights sacrosanct and that and and to be able to to say to the government, no, you can't you can't impose on these fundamental rights of me to be able to speak the truth. I mean, our rights are there to pursue the good, the true, and the beautiful, not not to abuse them. Freedom is the freedom to do what you ought to do, not what not whatever you want to do. No, no, no correct understanding of freedom is is licensed to do whatever you want. I mean, uh, freedom doesn't mean you go out and kill somebody. Freedom doesn't mean you can steal something. Fre freedom means that you have the opportunity. And, and again, in, in, throughout the millennia of, of, of human history, governments have been constricting and sort of uh, treated their their citizens as, as serfs who were you know who were relegated to a certain lifestyle and, and limited as to what their freedom was. This is a radical idea, but it's an idea that only works if people are formed to pursue what they ought to do, use freedom to, to pursue the good, the true and the beautiful, not uh, to, to do something that's destructive of them and ultimately destructive of society. That's why the education of our young people is so, so important. Mm -hmm. Senator Rick Santorum, thanks for coming on. Thank you.